The word mummy comes from the Arabic word mamea, meaning bitumen or coal, and every Egyptian was entitled to be mummified and receive a decent burial. The Egyptians believed that when they died they would make a journey to another world where they would lead a new life. They would need all the things that they had used when they were alive in their afterlife. So their families would put the things they would need in their graves. The only way to enter the afterlife was if the body was recognisable. Egyptians paid large amounts of money to have their bodies preserved and placed in a tomb. Poor Egyptians were buried in the sand and naturally mummified by the heat. The process for mummification was Step 1. A hook was inserted through a hole near the nose and part of the brain was pulled out. Step 2. A cut was made on the left side of the body near the tummy. Step 3. All internal organs were removed. Step 4. The internal organs were left to dry. Step 5. The lungs, intestines, stomach and liver were placed inside canopic jars. Step 6. The heart was put back inside the body. Step 7. The inside of the body was rinsed with wine and spices. Step 8. The corpse was covered with natron, also known as salt, for 70 days. Step 9. After 40 days, the body was stuffed with linen or sand to give it a more human shape. Step 10. After 70 days, the body was wrapped from head to toe in bandages. Step 11. The body was placed in a sarcophagus. The heart was kept in because it was thought to be the centre of intelligence and emotion. If the person had been a pharaoh, he would be placed inside his special burial chamber with lots of his treasure. The chamber was usually in a pyramid or later the Valley of the Kings. Archaeologists have found entire burial chambers just devoted to the burial of mummified cats. Cats were the favourite and most loved pets of ancient Egyptians because they were closely connected to the gods through Egyptian mythology and there is evidence to suggest that they were even considered demigods. The success of Egypt's mummification methods has enabled us to learn about everyday life along the Nile.